And now you can do this with a variety of lettuces. My husband is so partial to a radicchio. And of course, radicchio is a member of the chicory family, so it's a little bit on the, the bitter side. And here it is, beautiful radicchio. So let's take some of the radicchio and just shred it up. And whenever I do salad like this, you have to remember that after you clean the lettuce greens, you really want to dry them off well because you want that to mix really nicely with whatever dressing you're going to be putting on. And we're going to be doing the classic Italian dressing of extra virgin olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. And here are some lettuce leaves. And just listen to this crunch. I mean, this is really, really fresh stuff now. And you can use a variety of things. You could use mescaline if you wanted to. And then mix it up. Mix it up nicely because you're going to put other things with this. I think I better just get a couple more of these beautiful romaine lettuce leaves. And I tell you, in our house, we eat big salads. So you do this and you set this aside. So here are those wonderful green beans. Look at those. I'm going to put those into a bowl. Let me move some of this over so you can see. So our green beans are cooked. Beautiful. They go into a bowl. And then we want, oh, potatoes again. So those potatoes that he grew were so beautiful that I just have to make this salad for you. This is kind of like almost like a niçoise salad because it uses tuna and it's got beans and tomatoes, olives, and one of my friend Donatia's favorites, anchovies. And you see, again, I'm using the Yukon Gold potatoes because I just love them in a potato salad and I think the color of them is just so pretty, this nice yellowish looking potato. So there are our potatoes. And then also with this, we want tuna. Hey, make sure you're using tuna in olive oil. And here's two cans of tuna in olive oil that we just flaked up. And that goes in. This is going to become now a, kind of a really delicate, delicate tasting salad. So put this aside. And here is some parsley. Let's put a little flat leaf parsley. You saw that beautiful parsley that came out of my garden. And I like to use those celery tops too. So here are a few celery tops to go in. And then we have to have plum tomatoes. This is always a favorite in the garden. So I'm going to dice up a few plum tomatoes. You can use plum, you could use a beefsteak tomato, you could use one of my other favorites, which is a brandy wine for this. All right, so there are our plum tomatoes. Do you like olives? I love olives in a salad like this. And these are just black oil cured olives. You can put a few of those in if you don't like black oil cured. You could use green olives in brine if you wanted to. So I'm going to cut up three or four of those. They go in. And then we need some celery. So here's a little celery. And we want to put that in for added crunch texture. So some celery goes in. And then, yes, those little anchovies. Here they are, and aren't these beautiful? And now I get them in salt, and then I bring them home, and I rinse them off really well, and then I cut them up into tiny little pieces. So two or three anchovies in salt that you have rinsed several times. There are our anchovies. And I want to add some balsamic vinegar. Now this is just industriale, as we say in Italy. This is not the 25-year-old stuff. This is the three-year-old stuff that you can buy in the grocery store. And it's really good for a salad like this and a little bit of salt. And then you want some extra virgin olive oil. So you want about two tablespoons of the balsamic and about six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And you get that all mixed up in a bowl. And if you want to add a little bit of pepper to that, you can. I think I need just a little bit more oil. 
And that's all there is to making the dressing. Then gingerly, you pour that over the salad ingredients. Doesn't that look great? And now what we need to do is toss this. I need two, two, two really good spoons. Toss it well. Well then, you bring over those beautiful greens and you put the salad right over the top. All those fresh, beautiful colors from the garden. Doesn't this look excellent? And it's good for you too. And then, I like to play with my little, my little egg slicer. So here we have an egg slicer. I take a couple eggs, cut them up, and use this as a little garnish around the salad, just like so. 